So by popular demand, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. We're focusing on machine routing your pads to Studio One. And this process, you can do it in any DAW of choice, but because I love Studio One so much, we, we're gonna kinda, of, you know, focus on routing your machine pads to individual channels or tracks inside of Studio One. So basically what we're gonna do is drag over machine here. And basically this was a, a, a concept that I stumbled across in one of my videos and I thought it was pretty cool to do production like this. Now this process will be available on the website just so you know. So going on over to the website, ksound.com, K-S-O-U-N-D-D, -D, subscribe to the website and I'll definitely, you know, we'll be sending out a, a, a link and an email to everyone who subscribed and let you guys know when this will be available. But by the time you're watching this video, it's probably already on the site. So basically what we're trying to do here, as you guys know that um, the workflow inside a machine is obviously different from Studio One, all right? Studio One is a linear concept of recording or production or whatever, all right? Inside of Studio One, I'm sorry, machine, everything is based upon scenes and patterns and it's like everything a loop until you go to the next thing the next scene or if you you know highlight them all to to play all the way through whatever blah 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 it gets complicated in a sense if you guys are looking for a way to learn how that works there's also a course available on the site ksound.com all right now in this video i'm going to show you how this is done and this this may get tedious or whatever but i mean I'm, I'm gonna show you anyway because everybody been requesting how to how to do this. So um, basically, what we're gonna do here is we have to click here, all right. And so we're gonna start with the output. Make sure you are selected on the output, and we're gonna go for the MIDI first. And we're just gonna select all of these here, and we're gonna first make them host, and it's like it automatically did it for me, which is cool. All right. So everything seems to be already routed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But this is not going to be the whole the whole process. The whole time I'm showing you this, we're going to have to actually whew, we're going to have to actually route some stuff on over individually. All right. So we have a host, and then we're going to go over to the audio, and we want to make sure that our audio is also corresponding with and this is how you do that and we just want to make sure that we not just want to make sure that uh i don't i don't have everything selected because that will be making everything the same so okay so external one then you gotta go to the to sound two and i'm probably going to fast forward it or cut the video to get past this part all right all right so now that we did all of that we just wanna make sure that everything, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay, cool. So the next step is, okay, we got our MIDI already mounted, routed, cool. So we got the audio, and the next thing I wanna do is actually in in Studio One here. Um, so what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna add 15 more to this. We already have the first one, all right, so, Make sure you're on uh, instrument, label it with however you wish. 15, yes, we want 15. Make sure that we have existing instrument, and we're gonna click machine, and we're gonna go for channel two because we have channel one already up here. So, and then make sure you have ascending checked. So, and this is what it does, It it basically, gives you all 16 here and it looks kind of weird because this says pad 15 but this is channel 16 and I should have wow because this is this is actually pad one but actually this is the original plug-in track here so uh that's the thing with this is is gonna look funny I guess I can go in individually label that if I want to but we're not going to focus on that right now so we're going to select a couple of sounds right maybe three or four sounds 
just so we can get things going so I'm going to visit my battery section my battery kit here and I'm gonna go to drums and then we're gonna to go to let's say a kick here okay cool we're gonna make sure we select pad one here nice little 707 drum here a kick all right our next sound will be hmm Let's go for a shaker sound. That's cool. So our third sound will be a snare of some type. Let's go all the way to vinyl. Let's go for that. We didn't select our, our shaker here. Somehow we just... Missed that. Okay. Our shaker is actually in there. It's been the routing process took took place already, and that's the reason why we, you know, I'm I'm hitting the pad, but I can't hear it because the routing sort of already took place. But we can hear our kick right now, which is fine, and. For our fourth and final sound, for the sake of this video, we're just gonna go to a um, that's fine. All right. So it seems like you can't hear not none of them, which is fine. It's totally fine. So right here we have everything routed one, two, three, four as far as channels as you can see. All right, so the, the the next step we will need to take is, see, and I wish those other sounds can you can hear them so I can show you what I'm talking about. But basically, they will all come through here if we didn't take that that route yet with the output because I I sort of routed everything over to its own you know already, and the way you expand that is basically hitting this this little icon up here in you know the top here in m most of the plugins. If you pull up a plug in inside of Studio One, there will, this option will be available at the top. And unfortunately, we have to click them all. You know, it would be cool if it, there was one button that we can just click them all. But you know, we gotta click them all for right now. So that that's how that works. And let's see if we can hear our sounds. There we go. The reason why we wasn't hearing them before is because they didn't have a channel displayed here. So everything is routed over to its own channel and the purpose of, of doing it like this is so that you can put your own compression and EQ reverb effects or whatever sort, you know, you can send individually to different whatever, wherever you want to send them to and apply your own, you know, your own, your own amount of, you know what I mean? You, it's like a regular track in a sense. But notice I am triggering everything from my machine the pads on the machine in order to take advantage of this of this route of what we're doing now you have to actually use your your your, your keyboard your MIDI keyboard all right and your MIDI your, your MIDI keyboard becomes a pitch type deal you know what I mean because you in keyboard more essentially keyboard mode there we go. I'm talking too fast. All right. But the thing is, no matter which no matter which channel you are on, it's going to always, you know what I mean? It's like, man, um how do we get everything to change? You can't change everything by selecting the pad and then go But who wants to do that? You know, you want to be able to go to a specific channel and it plays whatever you know whatever that pad is being routed to or whatever the channel is being routed to in regards to the pads inside of the machine so this is the the other the other process of what you will need to go through in order to achieve that so we have to go over to input and 
in input, you have to, you know, you get, he had to go to MIDI. I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to make sure I select host. Again, host is being that, that so Studio One can trigger everything inside of machine here. All right. So that's how that works. You know what I mean? You're still not done because you you have everything coming out of everything right now. That's because we need to go and individually change everything manually. Now, like we did before, I probably will fast forward. All right, now that we have everything routed, we have uh, one, two, three, four, just making sure that everything is okay all the 16 cool so now when we now that's using the pads here but the concept of this is not to use the pads on the machine we want to be able to use our MIDI concept doing it you know from studio one so like like you would any any other plugin you you know you have to make sure you are on the channel that you want to edit or record or do whatever, right? So, track one. Okay. Let's do that again. All right. So we're just gonna do a good one bar. Next track. Okay. I'm not used to doing things in in two in one bar, so. <laughs> I, I recorded that twice that's why that's harder than every, everything else but you can kind of see what's going on here everything has its own individual channel and just like any other channel you can Turn up and down, pan. Okay. You can carry on your regular mixing program as usual. And folks, there you have. You have a fully mapped out and you didn't have to program anything inside of machine here everything is you using solely studio one and you can go in and edit your notes however you need to you know what i mean and it's still everything still functions as though you were using any other plugins or instruments inside of studio one all right again this will be available on the website I will have this template available for you, for you guys just in case this was confusing and you, you can't get it or whatever. Um, this will be on the website as, as well. I hope this was very helpful. My name is Ella. Music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.